Welcome back to my channel. Yeah. So this video is going to be all about how to get these nice soft crimps with iron that I used and everything like that. This wig is from Sheen. I used it in my previous video. Yes, Sheen got some good wigs, so don't be sleeping on them. All right. So I'm not going to hold y'all up. I'm not going to make this video really long. We're going to get right into it. All right, y'all, jumping straight into it. I've had this wig on for a couple of days now, so this video is, ju is strictly going to be focusing on styling the wig, and the style I'm gonna go for today are some nice, soft crimps like you guys seen in the beginning of the video. Now, for this section, I'm really just trying to figure out if I wanted to do a side part or a middle part. I did end up going with the side part because I feel like middle parts kind of made my face a little bit longer, and I didn't really wanna cut the hair and frame it. Um, at this very moment because I plan to do that down the line but for this section I'm just going to um, use my hot comb to get the hair as flat as possible you know we need a flat flat install okay so once I finish um once I finish straightening the hair and getting it flat then I'm gonna jump back in and talk to you guys and show you guys what I'm doing in the next clip coming up Now that we have the part as flat as possible, I'm going to go ahead and take out a little bit more hair to add into the baby hairs. And I'm also going to go ahead and define the part a little bit more. I do my part in as like a C, so it's going to be a C section because I want the hair to fall more, more so in my face so that when I have the, um, once I finish styling it, it just flows a little bit better. And I'm also going to go ahead and tweeze the baby hair so they're not as thick. All right, we don't want no thick baby hairs over here. All right, so now y'all see exactly why I took out that extra piece for the baby hairs because you can literally tell the difference already. I am going to be, um, I'm going to be playing with this baby hair right here, this specific one for a little bit in and out throughout the video because I want to get it to my liking. And I'm telling y'all, play with the baby hairs as much as you need to to get it to how you want it to be. I did brush it out because as y'all seen in the, in the beginning of the video, they were already there, but I did end up, excuse me, I did end up brushing them out and I used the black got to be. I, I do not like using the yellow bottle because it leaves a little crust and you could tell in this video when I use the 
the black bottle of the got to be it still looks soft it's not crunchy it doesn't turn white or nothing like that and i think i'm definitely going to stick to that instead of the mousse as well because i haven't used the mousse in a long time and i feel like that the mousse lifts up my baby hairs way too much I decided to add this little piece right here just to give a little pizzazz to the baby heads and to the wig and to the style and everything. Cause I didn't want to I didn't want that big space between that baby hair and then the little one, the baby hair by my ears. I really didn't feel like that made no sense. And I was happy with the choice that I made because I feel like this really gave the look like just a little something extra. Just like a little razzle dazzle. Feel me? Now I know everybody used the black spray to clean up their part when they over beach it, but I feel like the best thing for me is to use the um, mascara. It just gives it a more natural look, so that's what I ended up doing. And I know y'all see them baby hairs, and throughout the video, y'all did not see me put a band on not once. Not once did y'all see me put a band on, so y'all already know. Y'all already know the lace is laying, okay? I'm not here to play. But I'm just going to go ahead and go all throughout the hair, well, all, all throughout the part with the mascara just to clean it up a little bit. And you can really see the part getting more defined as I'm applying the mascara. Now we're at the fun part. I'm going to section out my hair into little sections here and there. And I'm going to start to crimp it. Now the iron that I'm using is the crimping iron from con air this is my first time using it and i can say that i definitely love the outcome it was so nice so smooth it wasn't crunchy or nothing like that okay now before i started to crimp it i did spray it with my tresemme spritz spray well holding spray they might say and then i just went on and crimped it and that's how i did throughout the video now this is how the first side of my head came out and now i'm gonna go ahead and just do the same thing i did to this side to the other side and y'all can see already the crimps is crimping okay so this you see me using the got to be but i was alternating between the got to me and the trust me spray and then i'm just gonna continue to do that throughout the video until i get to the end Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and use the ruby kisses to define my part a little bit more. And that's just going to give it a more, of a more of a realistic look, is what the girls say. So after I finish that, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I do all the finishing touches that I need to do. And then we'll close this out.
All right, y'all, so this is the final look. I had to bring y'all closer because I don't know what's wrong with my lighting, but the lighting is not giving right now. But here's the up close of how the crimps look nice and soft. Yes, it's nice and soft, like I was saying, and it's not crunchy. I love how it's flowing, like it's cute. I did that. And the iron that I use is from Con Air. Alright you guys, this is the final look. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty.